All right. What we have sitting here on the lathe is a piece of silver maple. I spared everybody the details of me rounding this out. I started with about inch and a half square piece of stock. Um, like I said, I rounded all this out. We have a small Sputnik uh, sea urchin. And today we are going to make a Christmas ornament out of this with a longer finial and a cap piece here. So uh, I've been practicing on my finials. So hopefully I can uh, not embarrass myself on this one. On your finials, you want to use a tight grained wood such as a maple, uh, etc. Anything just with a nice tight grain. No oak or ash with that open grain seems to not work well according to the master finial people I've been watching. So anyway, we're going to get going on this. Like I said, this is going to be a longer finial on the, on the bottom and then a cap piece that will hold the, the hanger uh, material. So anyway, I'll get situated here, get this all checked up, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, what you wanna do is you wanna start from your your smallest point right here. I'm gonna do my shaping on this. Uh, maybe come down a little bit. Then I will come back and sand that all the way up to my desired uh, last grit of paper. Because the thinner this gets, the more fragile that gets. Fragile. <laughs> fragile. So we wanna start here, sand back, work it back, work it back. This will be where the urchin's at. This will be the finial part. So start at your smallest point, sand that, and get that uh, pretty much to your finished grit before you move on. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it in stages. So if that's what you see me doing, that's what I'm doing. So I don't want uh, this to snap or break like my usual finial method does. So anyway, bear with me, and we will get it. I'm gonna use the 3 8 uh, Robert Sorry, Sorby spindle gouge. Um, light cuts and a sharp tool equals success. Slow and steady here wins the race. Okay, what I'll do is I'll probably work back down a little bit, back uh, towards the urchin part of the ornament or finial, finial. And then once I get back a little bit, I wanna start sanding that. It will add, add a little bit more detail in this and then slowly taper that back up. So, but if I sand that now, I'm still supported back here with everything. So, here we go. We'll slow our lathe speed down to around Three or four hundred. We don't need that that sharp either. So just kind of sand that back, and I won't bore you with all that. So I'll uh, I'll get this sanded back, and we'll be back when I start finish out and shaping the rest of the finial. All right. When I'm roughing this out and getting it down, removing material, I'll just use a uh, spindle roughing gouge. You can see it's starting to take shape, so uh, the spindle roughing gouge, man, just removes that material nice and fast, so um, keep your tool rest a little close. You don't want your tool diving underneath the piece, and that'll that'll cause it uh, to break, too, so anyway, I'll uh, start refining that back. We'll be back here in a little bit. All right. 
right, this is going to be the base of it. I'm going to stem this out to match that uh, smallest hole in that urchin. But man, I wish I would have done these smaller. Oh well. So anyway, I'll uh, finish defining this up and uh, looks like we're getting ready to have a nice finial. Hope I didn't jinx myself. It's going to look good. All right, I'm going to get this centered up and uh, we'll be back. All right, we're going to finish sending this up to 400. And uh, it still it feels pretty good, but this is where you want to be careful and support the work right here. So just fire it up. And uh, this is what I'm talking about. Just kind of, you know, support your work. Light touch. Like I said, we'll get this sanded up with this 400. And then we'll add some color to it. All right, we are going to add some color to this. I've been using this Artisan. It's an alcohol ink. So we'll put some of this on here and we'll start coloring this. All right, <clears throat> that ink's dried up. So um, I've kind of hit that, burnished it with some paper towel. When you add the alcohol ink, it tends to raise the grain just a little bit. So I burnish it down with the paper towel. We've got that taken care of. And I like using this gloss lacquer spray and give this about three, four, five coats. Um, a light one at first. Let that tack up. And then we'll start hitting our, our coats after that. So that's a good looking finial. <clears throat> All right, there it is. Got about three or four coats of the spray lacquer on it. I'm gonna call it good. Um, I'm gonna get this parted off or I might just saw it off. I don't wanna take my chances. So anyway, there it is. Finial. Let's grab our urchin and see how we did. Yeah, that's going to look good. All right, we've got this shaped to the outside diameter of our the top of the cap, which will cover this hole. Now we need to turn down this inside diameter right here. I don't know if I was even in frame. We're going to turn the inside diameter now. This is what will match the outside perimeter, if that makes sense. You'll see. It's going to look good. Okay, this is shaped how I want it. This is going to fit inside the urchin. This is going to come up. Um, like I said, I wanted a low profile cap on that. I will probably drill a side hole through that. Um, this is getting kind of tight in there. So I'm going to finish shaping this with some sandpaper. There's no shame in that at all. So um, this is just, uh, it, it's tight for me. So maybe some of these other turners can can work it out but I've got it pretty good so I'll probably start out with some 120 on this it's it's pretty good so um, we'll get this all sanded up and uh, get ready for some color again and we'll be back um, I won't. all right there's the cap piece 
Um, I've got about three or four coats of lacquer on it. We're getting ready to part this off. I took a small drill bit and drilled horizontal through this top nipple, I guess. So uh, for a hanger cord or some cordage or whatever. So anyway, we're going to get this part off. I'll get my uh, tool rest set up over here, get it parted off, and we'll see how everything fits. So we got that on there. Here's our bottom finial piece. And there's an ornament. I will get that all epoxied in or CA'd in. But uh, that's what it's going to look like. And we will come back with some, with some finished shots of this. So we'll be right back. Well, there it is. Came out pretty good. I like it. Hope you guys do too. Hey, um, I got something I want to say. Gord Rock, and I'll put a link to his channel. He gave me a shout out on one of his videos, and I jumped up like over 100 subscribers. So, Gord, thank you very much. I appreciate you, brother. You do awesome work. Thanks for the big shout out. Um, I know you don't do that uh, very often like you said in your video, but man, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to my existing subscribers. All of you, I appreciate every last one of you. And if you like this, share it, comment, thumbs up. It all helps the channel grow. Um, it seems like it's just taking forever to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm almost there, almost there. So, and I'm thinking for um, a 1,000 subscriber giveaway uh, will probably be an ornament uh, like this. Maybe not this one, but uh, an ornament, uh, a sea urchin ornament. So anyway, I just appreciate everybody uh, for the comments, good or bad. Uh, Gord, appreciate you for the shout out. Totally awesome, man. So anyway, I hope you guys like this. I enjoy turning this. These finials are a lot of work, but the reward is is, is killer. So Anyway, um, that's it for this one. I'll leave some glamour shots at the end of this. So anyway, hope you guys like it and thanks for watching.